practicality to me is basically being able to use what you've learned. You see, if you don't use what you've learned, in, in actuality, it's all theory, right? Um, it's not so much what you do, it's how you do it. And that's what I like about it, you know. I can do it this way, sure, but that's boring. I'd rather do it this way. Right. The question is, how practical is it? Well, let me show you. Bam. And I, this, I'll just break that throat. Being able to adjust the wrist and understand the mechanics of what makes the wrist release a weapon. If everybody's keeping it simple, right? Then what makes my simple better than your simple? The fact that I can do complex. Now, if I can make my complex simple, then my simple is going to be better than your simple. Engage and engage and engage. The difference here is that I know that hurts. I know if I have a knife, it's going to cut. I don't doubt because history has proven its efficacy. There's a body count. Every war has been fought with a weapon. I also don't doubt the efficacy of a bullet when it leaves its barrel. So I trust that. This is not empty hands, this is weapons. I'm going to take the same technique and use a baseball cap. Working with a lot of people who are actually in the field, uh, weapons do hurt people, and I'm in the medical field. I've seen what weapons do to the body, so you don't need skill for that. This is all about learning the art, enjoying it, and having fun with it. At the same time, learning something that we possibly you can use in the streets. Now, the question is, why didn't he use his right hand for drawing? Because his right hand is busy keeping the retention on there so that it's not, as opposed to two hands. Most in other places will use both hands, allows me for this. All right? In this case, separation of the body allows for the draw. Now he's still maintaining the retention there. Now, because I've been impacted here, it allows him to go for the control tool. So this looks all very, uh, a little bit complicated and complex, but what would the reality be after that first strike to that face? Exactly. In Kali, we do dynamic training. You see us hit 10 times, overkill. No, I have one training partner, 10 different targets. Fix! Now the weapon is drawn. Now he's got the ability to draw his gun. Create space while using the impact tool. I'm allowed to use this motion here because of the capture of that. Right? Bam. You're not cutting people to pieces, right? Which, in this particular case though, he has the right to actually go to lethal force. They are going after his firearm. So lethal force is allowed, is that correct? So, they're allowed to do that. But in case of, let's say, security purposes, uh, people who are not in law enforcement or the military, right? Where sometimes even an altercation and you pull onto something that's already ready to start cutting to pieces, that's a lot to go for in a court of law. Always understand your laws. Um, of course, if it's family and everything else, for me, it's like, hey, there's no question, right? But if we're talking to people who think weapons, Kali just happens to be a weapons artist. So we start with weapons. Doesn't I mean we don't have physical weapons, but our mindset is the weapon. Now, when I can do all that, which takes a lot of skill and time and practice, all of a sudden, it's even slower. It's even better. Because now you can add in time and accuracy. All these other things that the other things that they call complex right. is able to do. Let's take it, for example, with special forces. What's the difference between special forces and infantry? Training. They get more advanced training that other people would be considered complex. That's all it is. That's how I have to learn uh, about Filipino martial arts as well as in the service. When I was in the Philippines, I took everything but Filipino martial arts because I was guilty of colonial mentality. Most of our masters back home who kept this arts alive are not well to do. You know, a lot of them haven't even finished high school, right? Um, because of that, it's looked down upon. It's not given the respect that it does, right? And because of Filipino colonial mentality. Um, we think everything in the West is much better, everything but our own is better. So when you're thinking that, you go over there, what's the most popular martial art? Taekwondo. Now you got the addition of other arts that are popular all over the world, and you got air conditioning rooms where they're training, the right. rich and the high class support it. Our arts relegated to the parks, to their backyards, um, and to hidden you know, places that nobody frequents because you know, it's not supported. Now that's the way it was from before. Thank you.